The auto industry is now dealing with challenges from both the supply and demand sides. People all over the world are reconsidering big purchases like cars due to rising inflation. The search for new cars on dealer lots is becoming increasingly challenging due to supply chain problems. It's not it. Sales are down a whopping 80.1% in Germany alone. And after all of that, only one car company has overcome the pandemic, rising inflation, and the chip shortage. So, should we invest in it? That's what we're gonna see today. Hi, Gerd here, and today let's talk about cars. So first, we'll see why there is a supply issue, then what causes the falling demand, and finally, why is the Osborne effect at the center of all this mess? World automakers have been seriously affected by a global computer chip shortage for more than a year now. Lockdowns related to the pandemic and labor shortages have hampered East Asian suppliers who produce roughly 75% of the world's computer chips. And European and US automakers have been unable to keep up with demand. However, the supply of another crucial component for automakers has been affected by the Ukraine war, so semiconductors are only a portion of the problem. The crisis in Ukraine has severely improved the production of wire harnesses, the electrical components that run through automobiles and convey information, and power. The chip shortage began to show signs of easing in late 2022 and might become a memory of the past in 2023. But even if the supply chain issue is starting to abate, automakers will have to contend with an entirely different challenge – plummeting demand. Rising inflation in Europe and in the US is making consumers tighten their belts, and buying a new car is often among the first purchases to be delayed. Inflation in the US is currently at 9.1%, while in Europe the situation is a little bit better, with the latest forecast putting annual inflation at 8.6% which is still pretty bad. And due to high gas prices, one of the main components of the inflation, driving has become well less appealing to new buyers. According to a recent survey by loan provider Quicken, Americans are most likely to minimize their driving time due to inflation, with 66% of respondents reporting that they had done so. Gasoline alone is up 44% for the past 12 months, and regarding new vehicle purchases, inflation is up 10%. And because of high inflation, automakers are forced to compensate by raising their car prices. For instance, Tesla bumped its Tesla Model 3 price from $51,990 in March to $57,990 in June, an increase of about 11%. One theory explaining idle sales growth in the US is that younger Americans, disproportionately affected by the economic crisis, are waiting longer to buy cars, just as they are waiting to make decisions about wedding, home ownerships, and, well, baby-making decisions. The average age of new vehicle buyers in the United States increased by about 7 years, between 2000 and 2015, and is now around 50. So is the Osborne effect at play? Well, the term was minted after the collapse of the Osborne Computer Company when customers stopped buying the company's first computer products after the early announcement of its successor before it was available. And this is easily applicable to electric vehicles. Cars that can do everything a nice vehicle can have been available since the Tesla Model S. Given its capabilities and the transition to mass production held by the Model 3 announcements, I would argue that new ICE car purchases have become increasingly delayed as people await the arrival of mass market EVs from the other manufacturers. With Tesla setting the bar so high in terms of products already delivered, products in pre-product and future products, other EV manufacturers are under a significant amount of pressure, especially those that have yet to produce a product. Announcements of future EVs and features have a difficult time competing with Tesla features or products that are already in production and matching or exceeding what Tesla will produce in the same time span is difficult. This will result in a significant Osborne effect for other EV manufacturers, as consumers will wait to see if future features or products stay true to the hype before purchasing. Wait times for new cars still straight from month to years as the chip shortage rolls on and the world is now feeling the ongoing effect of a pandemic and a major war at the same time. Until things calm down, expect supply to remain tight 
prices to remain high and sales to remain lower than expected. So, what do you think about that? Are we seeing the start of the Osborne effect triggered by Tesla and reinforced by other car companies? Thank you so much for watching, feel free to leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one.